us to give you an opportunity. CBS showed you getting in the face of Coach Embry, uh, ye- like yelling. Uh, can yeah. you just tell us what happened? Yeah, um, I want to start by saying, uh, please don't try to flip my words because it's a very, very important topic to me, right? I have the utmost respect for Coach Embry. Like, when, honestly, probably one of the, being on the table for me to draft. You know, I'm, he's part of, a big part of the reason I'm even a Jet today. Like, he was the one, I feel like, most out of everybody in the building that wanted me to even be here in the first place. And so, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and him have a great relationship, and it goes way past football. Um, what we were talking about, obviously, I'm not going to tell you guys. But it had nothing to do with anything outside of the game. It was 100% two competitors. We both want to win, right? And I think that a lot of people, you know, they see it as, as drama. And I got to control myself better, 100%. Like, I'm 24 years old. I know better. Now, people are going to, you know, say what they want to say about it. But they've never been on an NFL football field, strapped it up, and played for something important to them, then they can't relate to me. So from that perspective, I, I, there's only so much you can say to that to that person with that perspective. But to you know, to my guys, like anybody that saw it, like people know that's not the like that's not me. Like y'all yeah, been here for it's my third year. I know how I act. Everything is, again. This is my, my dream job. It's my first job I've ever had. Like I love the game, and Embry knows that. You know what I mean? Like, and he loves the game too, and that's why. We both alphas. We both had some time. And that's the first time I've ever even spazzed out on anybody during the game. Like, but it is what it is. Like. And, I, and I talked to him. We hashed, that, we hashed it out right away. Because anytime you let something like that brew, it's, it just only gets worse. And we got bigger goals in mind. So uh, Maybe a couple minutes before that, the TV camera also showed Garrett having a conversation with Zach and Coach Hackett, mm-hmm. and they're going to put the two together, and yeah. they're going to say the Jets are incredibly frustrated on the sideline. Yeah. Is that fair, or is that taking things out of context? Yeah, I think that's a reach. Frustrated is not the word. We're eager, because we know how good we are, and we just want to win, like, and we're doing, from a from a coaching perspective, they're coaching their ass off, they're game planning, like, they're doing everything they can, right? And by the end of the day, you can only game plan so much. The player got to make it happen. And so it's a, it's a collective effort, and we have to get better, obviously, on offense. And, you know, anytime your defense gives up one touchdown, got to win the game. Got to win. So it's not that we don't have the players to do it. You know, people, they quit on Zach, but come on now. It's not like he's playing bad football, but he's a quarterback. It's so kind of what happens when you go number two overall to the, one of the biggest cities in the world. And, Everybody watching, if you don't play picture perfect football, then they're ready to get you out of here, right? And it's just one of those things that we gotta we gotta be better as a team. It's only so much you can put on Zach. Like, he's human. So as a team, and going back to Garrett to really answer your question, we're not necessarily frustrated with any anything that would have to do with like a, a play call or um, scheme or anything of that nature. It's about we alphas, we competitive, and we want to win more than anything else in this world. Like, we work for six months from was that August to like February, and then we we kick it for the rest of the year. So it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like we want to win. It means a lot. We talk like I'm tired of watching Beyonce halftime show. I want I want to be in the locker room game planning. Like you know, so it means a lot to us, and that's and that's really what it is. What's the team's confidence level right now? We good. I love where we at. Zach, you know, he, he commands the huddle and you know, he makes plays and you know, there's it's not a one man show. I mean it's different from other sports. Football's the ultimate team sport for a reason and we gotta help him out. Is it frustrating though to have that success on that drive late in the fourth quarter and not be able to duplicate that anywhere in the game? Frustration, I don't I don't know if frustrating is the word. I think the we just we gotta be more consistent in general. From you know, getting set. Because it seems like sometimes when we get set, we only got 15 seconds. And we got to do better in, in terms of uh, you know, getting to the ball. And then we can do our assignments, um, checks, everything like that. Like, we got to make it easier for ourselves. And, um, you know, I'm going to leave it at that.